Talk a little, if you don't mind, Jordan, about uh, Facebook ads, yeah. Instagram ads. Yeah. Should someone do one, the other, both? Yeah. Um, yeah. What are people doing right? What are they doing wrong? Yeah. So I get this question a lot from clients, even after we've already sold them a service. Yeah. Right? Um, and they say, well, are you going to do Instagram's web Instagram ads with it too? And I say, it's actually the exact same service. It's on the same platform. There's no change in our scope of work whatsoever besides clicking one button saying, I want this to go to Instagram. Now, there can be some small tweaks where if you're changing the creative to match Instagram or things like you that. You mean Facebook versus Instagram? Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. Of course, you know, yeah. It's all done from the same platform. Yeah. So it's, it's really a simple process. Now, whether you should do one or the other is actually a great question. And it really comes down to your target audience. If you're a realtor who's targeting uh, kids that are in 20 and 30 years old and you're in North Carolina, I know for a fact that Instagram is going to be great. Now, in Wisconsin for 20 to 30 years old, I don't know if Instagram's the most popular feature for that age group there. I know it changes demographically around the world, different states, different locations. Um, there's places online you can find those stats. But you know, to, to answer your question, I think it really comes down to both platforms are amazing, but you have to define what your target audience is and which target audience then matches up with which platform. And you said it's it's the same. I mean, they're owned by the same company, of course, right? So you could run an ad and, and with one click, you could run the same ad on Instagram. And, and I really like the... <laughs> I, I, I think that's the wrong thing to say something. Yeah, I think so.